uh, Cardinal gives an option also to uh, narrow down to the hour and obviously uh, ch uh, choose any date range up to five years and show the charts uh, by different time time intervals not only by days but only also, also uh, uh, the chart can be grouped by hour or day or week or month quarter or year another another feature I've spoken about was the site scope uh, the analytics for site collection or site or subsite again in Cardiolog this is um, achievable by using the portal tree and as you can see here um, the portal tree depicts an entire farm down down to the um, document level and each one of these levels can be reported on um, so um, from farm to uh, through lists which are not uh, available in SharePoint uh, 2010 analytics <coughs> down to uh, documents uh, I was also uh, talk, uh, talking about report filtering in SharePoint and in Cardiolog, this is available again through the portal tree. Whenever you set the preferences for a specific report, you can open the Object Explorer and select a specific item uh, to report on um, quite easily. Online presence. I've spoken about uh, the uh, online status sh shown in SharePoint. With Cardio 2010, we have the Who is Online report, which shows not only the online status but also the actual uh, the actual uh, URL which is visited and the location of the user around the world. This is beneficial both for internet sites and for internet sites which uh, span the entire globe and we have several customers which um, which do have uh, subsidiaries uh, all around the world with a very large portal I'm going back to the SharePoint uh, analytics features SharePoint 2010 analytic features and now I'll speak about the different reports available uh, the, f the first set of reports is named traffic reports and includes the following reports some of them available already in SharePoint in, in MOS, in MOS uh, and the new ones are the browsers report the external destinations report meaning where did users go when they leave the portal and, and referring pages where did users come from uh, when they arrived at the portal all of these um, reports are available with Cardiolog 2010. Here's an example of a top page views report as part of the traffic reports. You can see this is a SharePoint report. This you can see uh, a trend chart and a table uh, report with the actual pages and the number of views for each page. The next um, group of reports is named sh uh, search reports. Again, some of them already exist with MOS, the new ones. Some of them uh, I couldn't find anymore, although I know them from MOS, such as these two. So the, actually, the actual new three ones are the, um, the number of internal searches, number of failed internal searches and no result queries. Of all these, again, Cardilog does not give information about best bets for now. Here's the sample for the top queries report, a trend view, and a table view. Okay, so um I went through the first 
first part of our presentation, talking about the, the new and existing features for sh SharePoint Analytics. And I'll go now through the um, uniqueness, unique features of Cardiolog. Um, that's why I named this half of the presentation Why Cardiolog. And the first uh, category of features uh, is named uh, reporting or reporting features. I'll go and talk about them and then sh show some screenshots. Custom dashboards uh, is, is, is the ability to create your own set of reports and have this set of reports uh, scheduled and distributed. distributed. Report drill down is the ability to click any URL or username in your reports and have an instant report for that item. Site overlay and map overlay, I'll just show you in a moment. Content filtering by page metadata means that Cardiolog is familiar uh, of the metadata for your portal pages and you can filter out and actually segment or dimension reports according to page metadata, meaning you can say I'd like to, to have a uh, number of users for all documents with a specific tag or metadata. Um, one of our um, w one of the um, features that we are looking to achieve is to give um, usage reports for interaction with the SharePoint 2010 workspace, which is a, an online on, offline version of your portal. Um, and the next feature is the period comparison, where you can uh, obviously uh, compare a report to um, a parallel um, past period. Workflow reports, reporting for deleted sites, I'll show you in a moment. Reporting for orphan pages, meaning report, reporting uh, for pages on which no, uh, um, no uh, usage was found. And I've spoken already about aggregation levels, uh, where farm, list, Li uh, document libraries, document list items is unique for Cardiolog. Custom dashboards. And uh, what I'm what I'm doing now is s showing some screenshots of the features that I've just spoken about. Um, with every Cardiolog report or dashboard, users can add their own controls or reports onto the dashboard simply by clicking the add button button, choosing one of five analytic categories and clicking the desired display type, whether it's a meter, chart, or table. Uh, users can take a, a, a blank piece of paper or a blank dashboard and add their own um, controls and reports and create uh, a working dashboard which can be uh, um, generated on a daily basis and distributed to business owners in the organization. Um, I'd like to speak at this uh, moment also about alerts. Uh, alerts are also available with Cardiolog 2010. Each meter report can be um, transformed into a uh, scheduled alert. And according to the state of the KPI, whether it's, um, it has um, moved past the desired, um, the, uh, desired value, uh, an alert can be sent to the desired uh, distribution list. I've spoken about report drill downs, and here's an example. This is a unique user's um, report, and 